you know, we've made uh, so many videos on the concepts of brain, primary brain vesicles, secondary vesic brain vesicles, and all have you, okay? So now, um, we actually missed out the flexors, okay? Because these uh, brain vesicles, the primary one actually has some flexors, right? Flexors simply meaning like some invaginations, okay? That are of importance for us to note, okay? Where they are located. All right, you know, no knowledge is a waste, right? So this could actually come out in MCQs, multi-choice questions and all that, all right? So it's good for you guys to know it. So flexures of the brain, uh, vesicles. And these flexures, their, their function is basically to alter the position of the brain during development, okay? They alter the position of the brain during development, right? So position of the brain becomes altered as it attains maturity. Now, this is affected by a number of flexures. We have, first of all, the cervical flexure, and the cervical flexure is at the junction of the rumbencephalon and the spinal cord. Now, you see, this, this is the rumbencephalon, which is a hind brain. Now, where, is the, where the rumbencephalon is continuing as the spinal cord, we have the cervical flexure. Next, we have the mesencephalic flexure, also known as the cephalic flexure. And this is basically at the region of the midbrain. Okay, you see the mesencephalic flexure is at the region of the midbrain. Okay. And next we have the what pontine flexure. And the pontine flexure is at the middle of the rumbencephalon, which is dividing into the metencephalon and the myelencephalon. Okay. So I think um, here is no indicator. Let's go to this next lecture. Rumbencephalon. Where is rumbencephalon? Uh, but you can see myelencephalon here, okay? And, uh, okay, you see this, this is the pontine flexure, all right? And the pontine flexure is basically at the region. You know the rumbencephalon, we actually divide into the metencephalon and the myelencephalon. I think the myelencephalon forms the pont, the pons? <laughs> that thing is actually crazy out there, Okay. You guys just check it out. I have a video on development of the brain vesicles. If you want to check it out, I'll drop you the video. So we have seen pontine flexure. Last by not, but not the least, we have the telencephalic flexure, which is between the telencephalon and the diencephalon. Okay, telencephalon and diencephalon. So you can see this is the diencephalon. This is the telencephalon. And uh, both of them are coming from what's developing from prosencephalon, right? So this flexure between them, although it's not shown here, okay? So the flexure between them is a flexure that is called the telencephalic flexure, okay? So guys, these are flexures of the brain vesicles, okay? Flexures of the brain vesicles. Cervical flexure, mesencephalic flexure, pontine flexure, and telencephalic flexure. All right, see you guys in the next era.